because it's you. Maybe you're the toxic friend. Mm. And no one wants to hear that you are the toxic mm. friend. Can you give us some of your signs or top signs of a toxic friend? Yo, guys. Honestly, taking you for advantage. Also, possession. Gross inconsideration. Like you're the one who's constantly doing the work. Cat, 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 cat. <laughs> you're a toxic friend. <laughs> we tend to miss the red flags in friendships. We just think that red flags exist in relationships, romantic relationships. And the ones in friendships are the ones that hurt you the most. It's always a thing of like, what can you do for me? And never a thing of like, what can we do for each other's friends? Um, and I think that's just something where a lot of the times as good hearted people like myself We tend to always just be in that thing of we're always serving and serving and serving and then we're never asking ourselves But what is this person be doing for me? Mm. You're the one who's constantly asking the questions. You're the one who's you're the only interested one in this Relationship you're the only one who's willing to go the extra mile mm. I think there's like there's a normal level most people can be inconsiderate sometimes you forget about things but just constantly just like it never occurs to you to think about Oh, if I do this, it might inconvenience someone or whatever. Because at the end of the day, friendship is a partnership. You both decide to be friends and you can't always consistently be the one carrying the friendship when the person's not even doing anything to make sure that you're okay in the process. That's when you should know you're in a toxic relationship because that person is, sorry to say, but a narcissist. And they don't really care about you. Um, Can I add on that quickly? Mm -hmm. I have a friend who I even created a song because it was so one-sided and it goes something like why you never call me why I always gotta call you why you never call me why I always gotta call you toxic friends right don't even realize toxic friends you know, I hate those kind of friends whereby if they have beef with somebody, now you have to inherit the beef. That time you don't even know what's happening. If I don't inherit your beef, now I'm not a loyal friend. Now I'm a fake friend. Now I must hate everybody that you hate. I bring this friend around and she'd fight with everyone. I bring them around and was like, hey man, is it me and stuff? And then one of my other good friends had to be like, girl, this person can't be fighting with every single person mm. you bring them around. Girl, I've been in a bar fight because of this girl because she talked shit about someone and now we were fighting people at the bar. Um, what else? I think someone who also just maybe doesn't take your concerns seriously. If they invalidate how you feel, um, they don't understand how you feel but they expect you to feel everything that you go through. With your insecurities, they try to like exaggerate them, like instead of, um, reassuring and comforting you or like just makes you feel bad about yourself even if it's just a joke just makes nice comments um it can also exactly it can also be a sign of jealousy mm. you know true i feel like friendship is such a sensitive thing it's a space to hold for someone so it's like if you're not being sensitive with me you're super toxic like i don't need you to be putting on more weight we need to be lifting off the uh bricks off each other's shoulders someone is also very reluctant to apologize ever especially if you're trying to be very sincere big red flag you're not gonna be walking around mad at me doing what just because you and you don't want to apologize another red flag is that a friend that does not want you to call them out on their bs if you think i'm gonna agree with you on everything you say just because i'm your friend then I'm definitely not the one to be friends with you. Being an honest friend, sometimes it hurts you and your friend too. Mm. Cause these are conversations where I'm like, if I don't have this conversation with you, you're gonna hear it outside, it's gonna be nastier than what you hear. So I think it's also important that like, sometimes it's not necessarily that your friend is toxic. Sometimes they could just be doing bad behavior or behavior that doesn't that's that's respond with you. And it's important for you to like, just call that out. Yes. Or create a song. And <laughs> why you never call me? Why I always gonna call you? But also what I wanted to say is yes. if you see your friend doing something and then you say, yo, I don't like it when you want to three, four, five, and they take it in and they're like, oh snap, I've been hurting my friend. And they try to change or they work towards it somehow, whether they're like, maybe let's get a mediator so that we can speak if you guys struggle to speak face to face or alone because there's too much tension. But if that person is making an effort to um, fix the problem, then they, they at least they acknowledge themselves. Hmm. But if you have a friend who 
doesn't even want to acknowledge that they're wrong in any part you are gonna be a lot happier without that person it mm. will be sad for a while but down the road it yeah. will be good for you sometimes it's you maybe you're the toxic friend Mm. And no one wants to hear that you are the toxic mm. friend. Candace, have you ever been the toxic friend in your life? Oh my gosh, yo. That's actually a very interesting question. I think I have. No, okay. not I think. I know I have. Been. Okay, Perry, tell us. Um, <laughs> I can be very toxic and it, it took some time for me to realize it. I have definitely been the toxic friend that does not text you back. I'll see your WhatsApps, but I'm too busy moping because I'm, I don't know what's going on either. Or sometimes mm -hmm. I used to shy around, I used to hide from my friends, I used to tell me the truth a lot. I wouldn't say I'm, I'm totally like, or, you know, blameless or innocent. Yes, I have been the toxic friend. Yes, I contributed to some of the toxicity in the friendship. I've always had to defend myself like all the time and in like I'm not only just saying from like students, from teachers, from principals, from fighting that I can wear this, There's so many things that trigger so many things and I think we all have toxic traits, it's just that other people can actually manage their emotions, their sensitivity and their triggers and all that stuff, you know. I wanted to get some information, didn't want to give me the information and when the person left I decided that I'm gonna look at that person's phone and get my information <laughs> I didn't get my information but in doing so I lost a friend which has stayed with me and was a huge lesson <laughs> perhaps I could be overbearing and that could be toxic because I'm always making sure that people are okay that people are always doing things correctly you know so maybe maybe as a toxic I, don't know, I could be overbearing. Maybe I'm too much of a mother. I can, I, that could be maybe too much. I don't know. I don't know. I have. <laughs> oh my god. I'm the toxic femininity. It's very <laughs> weird because you sometimes see it retrospectively where you're like, <gasps> but then it's already happened. You're like, that was so fucked, fucked up. up. Yeah. And then that's where bridging gaps comes in where you have to like take accountability for your toxic ways because I don't think we could live with we live in duality so you can sometimes do some dark sided shit <laughs> like that's very dark sided but you can also be really light so it's like you need to always demon time and <laughs> bring them together and walk in the in between but sometimes we fall to either side where yeah. you're just being too open and you're taking some shit on you and then this person's like just too toxic but like it's like mm. the most important thing is like walking the line in between by the time when i realized that you know what this i should probably shouldn't have done that that was so petty of me you know it was just those things realizing after what i'm doing wrong what i should be doing right has now i'm in a place whereby my friends are now the friends that i wish I would have had back then so that I can avoid all these toxic traits that I have now, you know? The fact that I can actually take accountability and say that I am toxic, it's very huge for me. Possibly what could be seen as toxic is that I'm just, I just can sometimes be quite demanding of people's time and like attention because my love language is quality time. So I will want to, you know, always be like, I'm like, talk to me or I'm like, why aren't you communicating? So yeah, I, I think maybe I can sometimes be a bit demanding and overbearing, but I will always make my point clear and make it known, okay? That I'm writing a song. Why you never call me? Oh, I always gotta call you. It even has a remix. Remix! Why you never call me? Why I always gotta call you? The remix is higher. Why you never call me? Oh, it's fire faster. 